Gojo is a good option if you wanna start creating your games. Why? Because it's really simple and easy to understand thanks to the programming language GDScript. So in this video I will show you how to download it by its official website for any platform. In a previous video I compared Unity and Guto. I will leave the link of that video in the description below. Let's start. The first thing you have to do is to search Guto in the Google Chrome browser. Then you click here where it says Good Godot Engine Free and Open Source 2D and 3D Game Engine. Here you have a lot of information about uh, Godot, for example, uh, the Godot, uh, 4, uh, Godot 4 that will be uh, uh, released soon, uh, some explanations, even uh, some tutorials you could follow to start with Godot. But the important thing here is to download Gudo. So let's click here. Uh, and here we have the standard version and the mono version with C sharp support. And uh, we can select uh, the platform from so Linux, Mac, uh, well, in, uh, even Android. So yes, you can program in your phone. Or you can even download it in Steam or itch.io. The most recent version of Godot currently is Godot 3.5 but if you click uh, there um, you can see nothing, okay? Por favor, corta esta parte, idolo. Currently, uh, the most recent version of Godot is Godot 3.5 uh, so maybe if you are watching this tutorial sometime later uh, maybe it, 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 it could say here 3.6, 3.7. I would recommend downloading the standard version if you are not going to use C Sharp. Uh, so let's download the standard version. If your operating system is 64 bit, you download the 64 bit version. Or if your operating system is a, a 32 bit, uh, you download this version. If your computer isn't old, uh, the most probably uh, it's going to be 64 bit. So I'm going to download this version. But as I said before, I would recommend you to download the standard version of 64 bits. Once it's download, you will see this .zip file in your uh, download folder and you will have to extract it. How? By using WinRAR, a zip extractor or some program, some program like this. And now we have here our Godot.x file and a other th thing there that you don't have to do anything, okay? Now you can open a uh, good job uh, you will realize that uh, here probably you won't have any project created. Uh, I have some projects, uh, that's why um, uh, here appear some projects. But uh, if there is no project, uh, I'm just going to create a new one uh, to verify that everything is working fine. So uh, you can click here in new project and then you can create a new project. Uh, please choose an empty folder. Well, for example, we can create here in this path a new folder and uh, we are just going to create this project. And it's loading and here we have our project. Let's uh, just make something uh, really easy uh, to verify if everything works fine. I'm going to create a 2D scene. I'm going to rename it to a uh, world. For example, I'm going to attach a script to uh, this object. I will call it as well world and we have a template of empty so I have no code in there. Uh, I will click on create and uh, here we have our script. By pressing Ctrl S I will save my uh, scene. And then just to verify that everything is working fine, I will call the uh, ready function. This function is called uh, when the game launches. So when the game launches, when the game is ready, I will just uh, show a message of uh, subscribe to the 
channel then i save the changes and by pressing this button or f5 i will uh, here i have to select the the main scene i will click select current scene our world scene and here we have in the console our subscribe to the channel message we could even add more instructions for example a uh, print uh, i don't know like the video and uh, we can play again and uh, here it's printed subscribe to the channel like the video for example if you want to create another uh, scene and do other stuff you can click uh, this plus button uh, this is going to be another to the scene let's name it a uh, world 2 as well i will save it as world 2 i will attach a new script with an empty template because if you select for example the default template uh, here uh, are some comments uh, the ready function and some things that you may not uh, need so let's delete this uh, and now we are going to call for example the uh, process the process uh, delta the physics process no 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 the process delta and here we are going to call print uh, for example uh, this is a loop and then uh, we are just going to uh, play this and uh, no 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 uh, i have to play this scene because as i as i selected this word scene as the current scene uh, it will play by default this scene but i have to play this world to scene how do we play this particular scene by pressing this icon and then if here is printed this is a loop 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 well, this is printed uh, <laughs> so much time that a message of overflow sometimes is printed this this message output overflow a uh, print less text as you could see everything works just fine i'm not going to make tutorial about how to make a game uh, how you could uh, begin using good uh, this is just a basic uh, stuff to verify that everything works fine but to sum up everything the process function is called every frame it's like a loop a function here you can put your input for example we could verify if we are pressing a key if you're pressing d uh, the player could move for example uh, but the ready function is called when the game launches as soon as we press the play button uh, this function is called I hope you liked the video, if so please like and subscribe, bye bye.